unlock my computer first. Oh, I put my password in wrong. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> everyone and happy Saturday. How are we all? I hope we're doing well. It feels like ages since I've sat down from the video even though it was only like last week. I've got a new light bulb in my room. Um, it's a daylight light bulb therefore everything looks a little bit brighter so I'm hoping my Melody Mondays when I you know finally film the version of the song that I like won't look as if I'm filming them half in the dark. I've been asked recently a couple of times um, like what kind of things were on my bucket list? What sort of things would I you know am I desperate to do? So I thought I'd start making my bucket list, but, but I went into the works before lockdown and I found this book and it says so many things I want to do, my bucket list planner. Because we'd been having conversations about bucket lists, I thought this might be a good idea. So it's got loads of different pages. I've already started filling like a few of them out. So places I want to travel to, Bali, New Zealand, San Francisco, California. Those are some places I want to travel to. They're the only places I've got on there so far. Some of the pages have got like cute little quotes. Life's about moments. Don't wait for them, create them. That one's quite cute. Things I absolutely must do this summer. I feel like everyone's thing for next summer is to like go out and be with friends like as much as possible. Do as much stuff as you can. This quote's cute. Enjoy life now. This is not a rehearsal. I like that. As a theatre kid, I really like that. Photos I want to make sure I capture. I want to do the really like a generic Instagram influencer thing of going to like a lavender field and a sunflower field and like on the beach on a pier and then at a pumpkin patch get like some really aesthetic photos I would really quite like to do that so yeah there's quite a lot in here that I can fill in so I'm gonna do that whilst I do this I want you guys to also get a piece of paper or a notebook or something and we're gonna write down some bucket list suggestions together not together because I'm not doing this as a live and you guys can't comment in real time but <laughs> we're gonna fill some of these in together I'd quite like it if I did this as a live maybe I should do let me know down below if I should do a live bucket list writing session. Let me know if I should schedule a live session and we'll do some journaling together. So let's start filling in some of these. I kind of want to add some more places to go. Oh, I can't believe I didn't write this one before. It is a dream of mine to visit every single Disney park around the world. Get my laptop. I know like all of the American ones and the Paris one. I've not been to all of them, but I know of their existence, but I'm sure there's, I think there's one in Tokyo and there's one in Shanghai. I think there's another one, Hong Kong. I think that's the other one. I'm gonna list the ones that I've been to first. Disneyland Paris, you can go and check my vlog out. It's from last year, but go check my vlog out for Disneyland Paris. It was a great trip. Walt Disney Studios Paris, which is also included in my vlog. Then there's Magic Kingdom in Florida, Animal Kingdom in Florida, Epcot in Florida, which stands for Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. Fun fact for you guys. That's kind of like a good pub quiz question. Next is Hollywood Studios in Florida. Then there's Disneyland in California. And what's the other park called? California Adventure. I'm, I'm on like a Disney blog website. I know that the pier is called Paradise Pier, but the whole park is called California Adventure. So I'm gonna write that down. So there's Tokyo Disneyland, then there's Tokyo Disney Sea. I've been watching the Imagineering story on Disney Plus and we've just I've just seen the episode about um Tokyo Disney Sea. And oh it just looks really cool and I just really wanna go. So there's Hong Kong Disneyland. Lastly but not least is Shanghai Disney Resort. So I'm gonna tick off the ones that I've been to. So Disneyland Paris, Walt Disney Studios Paris, Magic Kingdom in Florida, Animal Kingdom in Florida, and Epcot. Those are the ones that I've been to. The ones I haven't been to, Hollywood Studios in Florida, Disneyland California, California Adventure, Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Disney Sea, Hong Kong Disneyland, and Shanghai Disneyland. So they are now all on my list, which is really cool. I'm gonna add Hawaii. I really wanna to go to Hawaii. I wanna to go to Hawaii and stay at the Disney Alani Resort. I'm gonna literally put Alani Resort. Cause it just looks stunning. It just looks stunning. Type in Disney Alani Resort, Hawaii, and you'll understand what I mean. I'm also gonna put, this is another Disney one. Castaway Key, which is a privately owned Disney island that you have to take a specific Disney cruise to go to. 
So the fact I don't like boats is gonna have to be chucked out the window for that trip. Also gonna add Amsterdam. I don't wanna go to Amsterdam for the reason that a lot of people want to go to Amsterdam. Um, and if you don't know, then try not to find out. I wanna go for like the aesthetic, to walk around to take cute photos and go to like the tulip fields and stuff. I wanna go there for that. And I wanna go for there for like the history and things as well. Like I really would quite like to go to the Anne Frank house. It's not like an, an excitement to want to go. It's not a tourist attraction, if that makes sense. Like there's a certain amount of respect that you need to have if you're going. I'm also gonna add Singapore. So on the 19th of November this year, we were meant to be doing a big trip to Australia. Can't do that now. It was cancelled about three, four months ago because we'd saved up money. We were meeting family over there that we didn't know existed till about four or five years ago. We made it a big trip and had organised a lot and saved up a lot of money to be able to go. But what we were going to do was fly from London to Singapore for a couple of days because a lot of the flights were like connecting flights and it turned out cheaper if we did it that way. So we were going to do a flight from a flight from London to Singapore, stay in Singapore for a couple of nights, then go to Australia, then on the way back, stop over in Dubai for a couple of nights, and then come back home. So it was a big trip and it's just a shame that it's been cancelled. I'm thinking about it now. What's the date today? The 21st? The 21st today? It's the 21st today, yeah. We would have been in Singapore. So kind of sad, but at the same time, completely understand why we can't go. So it's sad, but Singapore is now on my bucket list. Books that I'd like to read. I read the first instalment of a series of books called Eve of Man. And it's written by Tom and Giovanna Fletcher. And it was so, so good. Eve of Man now has a sequel. It's a trilogy, but it now has its sequel out. And I really want to read it. I think it's called The Eve Illusion, as in evolution, but Eve illusion because the main character is called Eve so I'm gonna put that down but at the moment I don't think there's you know any other books that I specifically want to read really if I'm quite honest with you which is bad because I used to read a lot and I really love reading I never really find the time for it and then once I do find the time for it I'm usually playing Animal Crossing <laughs> and I can never really focus on a book when I've got other stuff going on, so I struggle a little bit, but I'm gonna put the evolution down. Also, if anyone's watching I'm Celeb at the moment, um, I would quite like Giovanna to win. I'd like to see her do more trials and like see her on the show a little bit more. But yeah, I love G, I think she's great. Things I must absolutely do this summer. Go out with my friends, exclamation points. So I've got right to the back of the book and it's my absolute final bucket list. And the first thing I've written, the only thing I've written, is run through a castle in a fancy dress. <laughs> I keep seeing on TikTok, like, imagine running through a castle in these dresses and then it will be the, um, the orchestral version of Somebody Come Get Her, <laughs> that song. Um, I won't finish that because this is a uh, family friendly YouTube channel. But yeah, TikTok's like that and then it will give me a series of dresses that like, oh, you would run through a castle wearing these. That's the kind of TikToks I get on my algorithm, so there you go. So yeah, it's on my bucket list to run through a castle in a fancy dress. One thing that I'm definitely putting on my bucket list is go to the, I think it's called the Sky Garden or the Night Garden in Singapore. If anyone has seen the film Crazy Rich Asians, it's where the wedding reception is held. If not, literally type in Sky Garden Singapore and you'll see where I mean. The big tree like structures, they light up at night and as like a design student, I would really just love to see it from a design perspective, but also because, you know, it's cute and I love stuff like that. So that is everything that I'm going to put on my bucket list today. I will definitely add more things over time. And I think as lockdown things begins to ease, we can go out and do more. I'll be able to generate more ideas of what to put on my bucket list. If any of you have bucket list suggestions for me, put them in the comments down below. Also list some of the things that are on your own bucket list because I'd like to know because it's interesting and it's fun. But that's everything for this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you on Wednesday. Literally every day of this week's vlog, I've apologised for not vlogging enough. Currently the most exciting thing is changing my light bulb and I nearly fell off my bed whilst I was trying to do it so that was fun. If you're going out stay safe, wear a mask. If you're not going out to the shops or to college or to school whatever, stay at home, stay safe and I'll see you Wednesday. Bye guys!